Well, I'm pretty sure I know what happens to them. They go to the crusher, that claw right there. So, right next to Marine Tech, they're developing some, a big piece of property, and they've got a lot of machinery in there. And so, some of the some unfortunate things that happen, and it's very sad to us. And students always ask, you know, where do old boats go? Well, the crusher is what happens. Um, we get offered boats all the time, quote, for free because the yard bill is too expensive or it costs more. It, with like our King's Pride project, it's generally cost more to fix an old boat um, than it's even worth. And so, and sometimes, you know, they're not paid attention to and they end up with, you know, filled with water sinking on land and, and everything is ruined. And so, yeah, and it, it's it's an expensive process. You know, you got to take out the, the fuel and motor oil and stuff like that before you can even bring them to head into the crusher ready to go to the landfill that big uh, behind that white tarp is is just a semi-sized dumpster there and they're filling it with all of this little debris and they just break it up and crush it and so that's what we do often we do get asked you know what about recycling and yes uh, the the driver of the excavator there he did a really good job all the metal bits he can he pulled off struts and trim tabs and masts and things um, and we also often get treasures they'll let us dig through boats we got some lights and uh, cool things an old teak steering wheel and whatnot and so you know um, whether it's us at Marine Tech or somebody in the yard they do try and go through and get things of value off of these old vessels um, before we we send them to the landfill, but at the end of the day, it's still here. And, and in a few hours, they, you know, just just what you see there: break them up, bust them up, get it in small pieces, and cart it away. So um, it might be nice if we got together and, and started thinking about this. I know that um, with bigger, pure. Pro, uh, pieces of fiberglass or you know composite material they can they're starting to recycle like maybe windmill blades because it's just all carbon fiber and they could grind that up you know they figured out a use to put old tires into roads and so I wish I, I, that we could figure out something for end of life for these old boats um, what it would look like that the trouble is they're so contaminated you take an old boat even after we get rid of the fuel tanks or fuel is it's got hoses and electrical wiring and you know all sorts of things like this and so it's just not fiberglass and it is too expensive for labor to try and separate it all out especially these saltwater boats where everything's corroded and you can't even take them apart and so yeah let's let's get together what can we do with old boats how can we figure this out and and prevent them from filling up our landfills so It'd be great. Leave some comments and we could maybe talk about it a little bit. So thanks for watching.